what's up guys i am on my way to my doctor's office um i have to go do a urine screening so that i'm able to get my sabox today so that is what we're going to do excuse me um so yeah This is like a new um, part of the hospital that they built for um, for the behavior health. Um, my office used to be somewhere else, but then they switched it over here. So it's much, much closer to my house, which is a good thing. So I forget what floor is on. Let's see. I think two okay so on the second floor so we're going up to two and no i don't think this is the floor is this the floor no i don't think so Um, I can't remember. No, I think this is it. This is it. I think so. All right, guys. So I am in the bathroom. Um, I have to pee in this cup, and I do this. I'm supposed to do it like every two, three months, um, so that when I come up, I can get my Suboxone um, prescribed for my doctor. So we're about to pee in the cup. All right, guys. So we got our pee. And then we'll just put it in there. Wash our hands. All right, guys, where is the elevators? Oh, down here. Okay. All right. We're just going down, back to round. This is such a nice new building. I love it. And it's right down the street from my house. My doctor is so cool, y'all. He's the best, okay? If you, um, if for any reason you ever had to be on Suboxone, um, comment down below and let me know whether it was for, um, pain, um, addiction, Whatever it may have been for, um, don't be ashamed. Um, I was an addict. I'm still an addict, guys. I'm a recovering addict. And I'm not ashamed of it. I used to be, but um, my sobriety date is June 18th, or June of 2018, y'all. Can y'all believe that? June 2018, sun is bright is my sobriety date. So that's what, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, five years, y'all. Let me make sure I ain't get no ticket. Oh, I didn't, thank God. Cause this was reserved parking. <laughs> okay. So five years of sobriety for me. I'm so proud of myself as of June of this year. Um. And I'm not going to lie, y'all. I told my doctor this morning, I was like, I don't want to lie. I always want to be honest with you, you know. I've been seeing this doctor literally over five years. So, I've been seeing him. I started seeing him a couple years after I had Kayvon, which was when I got um, addicted, you know, to opiates. And I reached out for help and I met this doctor um, and then I had Messiah and actually I had ended up getting pregnant before I had Messiah and I ended up having a miscarriage. Um, hold on guys. All right guys. So like I was saying, I had ended up meeting up with him or getting back with him. Um, I had ended up having a miscarriage before I had Messiah. Um, I was pregnant with the baby boy. And I had a miscarriage. Um, it wasn't enough fluid in my, um, in the sack, I guess, with the baby. So 
he passed away um, in my stomach. So they had to get him out. Um, so I guess you call that like a stillborn, stillbirth. Um, so I had to have him like a regular birth. I had to get his um, epidural and I had to push him out. And it was very sad and very painful. And it was very hard. And this was like right before I ended up meeting Mike, Messiah's dad, my fiance. Um, so then a couple years after that, I ended up getting pregnant with Messiah and I was still on the, I still needed the Suboxone because I was still like here and there with the, um, opiates that I was taking. So I still needed my doctor to help me. So I ended up getting on Subutex. When you get pregnant and you're on Suboxone, they switch you over to Subutex because they don't want you to take the Naloxone. I believe that's in the Suboxone, right? Um, so... I ended up getting on Subutex, and after I had her, she had to stay in the hospital for almost two weeks, I believe it was. Um, my baby was strong, she fought, she didn't have to take no medicine, she didn't have to get on any medicine, she didn't, you know, she had light signs of withdrawal, but God is so good, y'all, when I tell y'all, they didn't have to give my baby no medicine, she was healthy, she was eating, it was it was hard y'all i i do admit it was it was really hard um for me to balance you know having my baby in the hospital getting Kayvon back and forth to school i thank god his grandmother stepped in and helped me and mike with that so i would have time to be in the nicu with messiah and you know time to bond and spend with her so she could come home you know i wanted her home i didn't want to have to be up here at this hospital but Anyway, through all of that, um, I was still taking my Suboxone and I was, you know, staying clean and staying sober and I was doing my thing, y'all. I got my baby home and it just been up since then. So I've had five years of sobriety. I'm so happy. I'm so just proud of myself. And I was just telling my doctor, he was telling me about this new shot that you could get. It's called um, Subluca, I believe. I got to look it up. I forget. But it's this shot that you can get once a month. You don't have to take the strips, the Suboxone. Um, and I was telling him, you know, when I'm, I feel like when I'm ready to wing off of the Suboxone, which I am ready. Don't get me wrong, y'all. I don't want to be on Suboxone for the rest of my life. This is not something that I want to do. This is not something that I enjoy. I hate not being able to feel normal, which the Suboxones make me feel to my normal you know what i'm saying not to your normal not to your everyday get up you don't have to take any medicine you know you can just go about your day without having to take this medicine you know and that's normal but this is my normal for me you know not having to get up and take pills every day and i have to worry about where i'm gonna get my next dollar from to support my freaking pill habit you know what I'm saying? So this is my normal for me right now. So when I'm ready to get off of the Suboxone completely, I will switch over to the sub -K, which is the shot, which is once, once a month, which he said is so much easier to get off of than me trying to get off the Suboxone strips, which, you know, I'm going to have some light um, withdrawals and things like that, but it, it won't be as worse, with, as bad with the shot. So I'm excited for that, y'all. And I'm just excited for my, my life journey. And I never really shared this with you guys. And this is a, a very personal and just close, just subject, topic to talk about for me. Cause I just been going through it for so long. Like, and I'm gonna open up, you know, more with you guys. And if you guys have any questions that you would like to ask me about the Suboxone or the sub -K or me, you know, getting sober, just period, how I did it and what I had to go through. If you guys want me to talk about it more, I definitely will. I don't mind telling you guys my journey. I didn't been through detox centers. I didn't been through IOP. I had to go through so much to get to where I am today, guys. That's why I want you guys to know these things about me because I want you guys to be able to relate to me so that we have that connection with each other so that you guys, you know, stay for the long run. Um, and I just appreciate being able to open up to you guys because I'm not ashamed and I'm going to talk about it, good or bad, ugly, pretty, whatever. I'm going to tell y'all about my life because that's what this is about. I want to make an impact on so many people. I want to be able to help people, whether it's with addiction, whether it's single parents and homelessness, um, being a, a ear, you know, to talk to or listen, you know, to people 
Um, I always wanted to be a counselor. I don't know if I still want to do that, a social worker. Um, right now, I just want to be, I just want to do content and I want to be able to help people. That's my biggest thing. I want to be able to help people no matter what it is. I want to start a nonprofit organization for mothers with addiction, single mothers, um, shelter, food, clothing, counseling, you know, all that stuff. That's something that is near and dear, close to my heart. Something that I had to endure in my entire life with my grandmother, my mother, my sister, my brother, myself, you know, just so many people people around me that have went through addiction and it's just, it's sad and it's hard and it's scary. But when you come out on the other side, it's rewarding and God will reward you for all your hard work and you are not alone. And I want you to know that if you are struggling with addiction, you are not alone, okay? And it is help out there. And if you guys need help, if you need resources, I'm here to help you, okay? You can DM me on my Instagram, on my Facebook, whatever it is. Drop a comment down below, whatever. Leave your number, I'll text you, I'll call you. I'm here for you guys, okay? Like I want you guys to be here for me. I got to get to work. Well, first, I'm going to go to the pharmacy and pick up my script because I am out of my Suboxone. I took my last piece this morning. So I have to go to the pharmacy and pick that up. And then I'm going to go to work. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog um, of me sharing this near and dear moment with you guys. I love you guys. And I hope you guys um, are encouraged or inspired by this vlog and by this part of my life that I am sharing with you guys. Um, Cause I'm being open and honest, and this is a judge-free zone. I want this to be a judge-free zone where you guys can come and talk and share and open up about your personal life and the things that you struggle with. Because I just want you guys to know that you are not alone. No matter what people tell you, no matter what the people call you, junkie, crackhead, whatever it is. Okay, I've been called it all. It is what it is. Okay, cause God. God is God is worthy to be praised, y'all. When I tell y'all, that's why I always talk about God because without God, I wouldn't be where I am today. My family, my life, my lifestyle, you know, and it's only going to get better. It's only going to go up from here. Like, this is not the end for me. This is not the end. This is only the beginning, and I'm just excited for my future, and I hope you guys are here for the ride. I love y'all, and until next time, bye. Oh, yeah, guys, that was another thing that I wanted to say. When I had my virtual um, appointment with my doctor this morning, I did tell him that I wanted to be open and honest with him about, you know, what it is that I've been doing, which is smoking marijuana. Um, and he told me, he he's so proud of me, you know, my five years of sobriety. He said, I don't think that you smoking marijuana will take you back to being, um, you know, you going back to using so i was like you know you're you're right i don't think that either weed is not something that i'm addicted to it's not something that i have to have it's something that i enjoy doing after a long day you know weed ain't never hurt nobody and he said i'm not going to kick you out of my clinic because of it i just want you to be careful i want you to make sure wherever you're getting it from it's not laced with fentanyl you know nothing like that just be careful and you know just you know, watch what you're doing. Like, be careful. And I thank you for being honest. And that's what I love about my doctor. You know, when you get these doctors, you want to make sure that they're supportive, number one. And you want to make sure that they're understanding. And that is something that my doctor is. He's supportive. He's understanding. And he he understands. You know, he understands us. He, deal, he deals with women all the time. You know, pregnant women, women going through addiction. This is something that he specializes in. So, I'm just thankful. I just thank God for my doctor and for the great people that I have. Um, as far as, you know, my support system with my addiction. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to add. Bye. All right, guys. So, I am at the pharmacy picking up my prescription. Okay. Thank you, you too.
All right, guys. I'm gonna go back this way. So I was able to pick up my Suboxone. I am going to head to get me some lunch because I am starving. And then I'm gonna um, go back to work. And I wanna show you guys what they look like. If you guys never seen um, Suboxone before. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hold on, I'm driving. So let me show you guys what it looks like. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna show you guys. Okay. So, most of the time they come in a regular pill bottle or they put them in this box. So today, they are in a box. I'm not gonna show y'all my, oh, they're falling out the box. Or is they just threw in the bag? Guys, I'm trying to hurry up for a light change. Okay guys, so this, that's what they look like. They come in a strip like this. And they are like this. Okay? It's a box in. And it's like a film. Okay? It's like a little film. I'll show you guys that also when I open one. And you just put them under your tongue. You put them under your tongue. And you let them dissolve. And you don't eat or drink nothing. I want to say for like 15, 20 minutes. They taste really nasty. Um... And yeah, they're eight milligrams and I take them um, twice a day um, and it keeps me my normal, <laughs> okay? All right, guys, so I just want to show you guys what the Suboxone looks like, okay? Some of you may know, some of you may not. So here it is. This is what it looks like. It probably looks bigger in the camera, but it's not. It's really small, it's really light, okay? And you take it. I'm going to show you guys. All right, guys. I'm at Chick-fil-A in the line. But I just want to show you guys how I take it real quick, okay? So, I get the medicine. I don't take the whole thing unless I just really feel like crap some days. But most of the time, I just tear it in half. You tear it in half real easily. Um, I put it back in my pack. And then you take it. Put it under your tongue and you let it dissolve. And then I put my other piece back in my pack and back in my bag, my box, my whatever I got in there. Okay? And you let them dissolve. And they're so nasty. They taste like orange medicine. I don't know, but they're gross. It's a taste you definitely have to get used to, especially if you think you can't go without the 15 minutes um, of letting it dissolve. So, yeah, guys, that is all. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below. Let me know if there's anything else that you guys would like to touch bases on or for me to talk about as far as addiction, suboxone, um, you know, recovering, anything like that. Let me, let me know. I'm an open book, and I'm here for you guys, okay? I love you guys, and thank you for supporting me. Thank you for 600 subscribers. I love you guys, and we only going up from here. Do you feel me? <laughs> I love y'all. See y'all later. Can't get... Let me get my Chipotle, or Chick-fil-A. <laughs> love y'all. Bye.